Okay, let's pray. Eternal God and our Father, once again, Lord, you have been with us throughout the Sabbath day. We have had lunch, we are filled, and we are ready for the final portion of your Sabbath day. Be with us now and bless the program. Be with those who are coming. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. I'll now turn, turn over to Eugenie and Colin, who would lead us into two or so songs, after which we'll go straight with Pastor, and Pastor will be here for a little over an hour. And two hours is just little over an hour. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to sing a couple of songs. Please participate, join in. Um, ain't nobody do me like Jesus. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. He's got a few actions. One of the actions is pick me up, turn me around. So when it comes to that, please. There you go. Perfectly um, demonstrated by Tate here. Thank you so much. Um, so, give me a key. Um. Okay. Ain't nobody do me like Jesus. Ain't nobody do me like the Lord. Ain't Nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody. Do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. Ain't nobody. Do me like the Lord. Do me like the Lord. Ain't nobody. Do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Pick me up. Pick, pick me up. Turn me around. Turn me around. Pick me up. Turn me around. Turn me around. Pick me up. Turn me around. Turn me around. He's my friend. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody. Do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. Ain't nobody. Do me like the Lord. Do me like the Lord. Ain't nobody. Do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Well, he healed my body. Healed my body. Told me to run on. Told me to run on. Heal my body. Told me to run on. Told me to run on. Heal my body. Told me to run on. Told me to run on. Cause he's my friend. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Do me like Jesus. Ain't nobody. Do me like the Lord, ain't nobody. Do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. He. it because I couldn't remember the next verse so next time yeah next time um, okay has anyone got a favorite we are marching over to Jerusalem you had to say that didn't you you had to say that because the next thing I'm gonna say is we cannot march 
I was going to say on our, off our feet. Okay, we do that. We can't march when we're off our feet, so I'm going to ask you to stand, please. Please stand. Um, we're going to march over to Jerusalem. Um, after we've sang it through once, the gentlemen, please, find your voices, and we're going to be, you know what we need to do. We know what we need to do. You can march, though. You can march, though. Of course you can. Of course you can. Of course you can. Right. We are marching over. We are marching over to Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. 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 One more time, we are marching over. We are marching over to Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. 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 I like the way you're marching. I like that. I like that. I like that. Jerusalem. Over. We are marching over to Jerusalem. We are marching over to Jerusalem. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for singing. Uh, we're going to hand over now to Pastor, Pastor Johnson. Pastor Johnson. All right. Happy Sabbath. Once more. God is good. All and all the time. All, all right. Thank you very much. I've been having a wonderful time. Have you been having a wonderful time? Yes. All right. Yes, man. Church feels like church. Yes. You can dim the lights. I was just telling Brother Larry uh, at lunchtime that it's nice here. I like it. Yes. It's nice. Yes. It's real nice, man. <laughs> it's real nice. I want to thank you for having me and being able to share with you here. If you if I wasn't so far, you see, man, I'd be here every summer. But that's all. That's all you go. Be kind of far, man. Far. All right. So let me see your best now. You know when they give you a new gadget, you sometimes. Eh? Someone help me. Yeah. I think. Many. Oh, turn it on. Mm hmm. Yes. All right. We get it. We get it. We get it. I get it. If you can dim these lights. Because I want everybody to participate. All right, so I'm going to transform this room into a school room now. And we are going to dive into our study. So we are looking at the topic. We want to look at this topic. Uh, the what? The, the occult, witchcraft, and satanic epidemic. Let us pray. 
Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the food that you have provided for us. We gather once more for another study in your word. We pray for your leading and your direction. In your name we pray. Amen. Right, so we want everybody to participate uh, in this or Bible class. No, the occult, witchcraft, and what? Satanic epidemic. Anybody can tell me what an epidemic is? Any health practitioner in here? I went to school. I only did Bible, so I don't know about that. So, Any health practitioner, help me out. Epidem epidemic suggests what? Talk to me. Mm -hmm. A population. So what is pandemic then? So if epi is... <laughs> so, so, okay, so it's worldwide. Mm -hmm. So which one is more deadly, pandemic or epidemic? Mm -hmm. But epidemic normally spreads fast in a little local area. So what we are looking at now, we are looking at this occult world, this witchcraft and Satanism, which is spreading fast in various areas. And today we want to look at some stuff, maybe some stuff that you not even thought to yourself. We want to look at them. So are you ready? If you're ready, let me hear you say amen. amen. If you're ready, let me hear you say praise the Lord. Praise let's go. So good. Let's go. Come on. You're going to read with me. So it says what? Can we do what? Talk with the dead. Hmm? So some people will tell you that they go to the graveside of their parents and they talk to them. Some tell you that their parents dream see them. Hmm? You ever hear that yet? Yes, sometimes their parents dream see them. Some say that even at home... If them see a little bat or mat or cockroach or rat, then says the family member. And, oh, you never hear that yet. Mm? Right? <clears throat> and back home, they have some little crazy stuff. Elder Lorraine, they have some crazy stuff. Back home, they say that if you don't want the person who um, died to trouble you, you have to wear a special underwear. Hmm? And if you have baby, they say you have to pass the baby over the casket. So I was doing a funeral. And some people, they came because they heard about, um, you know, you must do that. And so they had the baby passing over the casket. So I just observed them. So one person said, how if you do it? How if you do it? Here, here, here the next one. Pass her to me. Give me back. Pass her. Give me back. <laughs> So, so our next one said, no, no, no. Rest her over there one little bit. Someone said, no, no, so me know it. <laughs> but yes, confusion. And so this is what is taking place. So, um, so we want to do what? The learning outcome this afternoon is to do what? Learn how to do what? Avoid the spirit world connection. That is the learning outcome. If there's anything that we should not miss is how to avoid this how to avoid this you know the scripture makes it clear that the uh, the devil our adversary is like a what roaring lion seeking whom he will devour and this is this is one of the last day deception right and so yes all right so we want to look at the word what word we're looking at Spiritism. So spiritism, they say, is the what? Is the theory that what? And what? Phenomenons are caused by what? Spirits of the dead. So you will have specific places where they say you don't go because spirits are there. Oh, you know, lock off my mic. <laughs> If I never know better, brethren, I'd say somebody jumped. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we debunking the myth. <laughs> That's why we debunking. So another, another theory says what? Spiritism is what? Is the science and the what? Philosophy and the religion of what? Continuous life. Hmm? And we're going we're gonna to explore some of that. Because what we discover, brothers and sisters... 
that everybody wants to live forever. Hmm? So you have song, oh, I want to live forever. No, you, you don't know that one? Uh-huh, yes. Yes. Everybody, yes, right? So everybody, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Right? So everybody wants to live. And so this is what is causing the confusion from time to time because of this, what? Continuous life. No, what, what, what? We, we, want to, we want to jump down into some stuff. So let's go now. Romans, Romans 6 verse what? Says what? For the what? The wages of sin is death. So, death is pronounced upon what? Every man. Because sin entered the world. And for the wages of sin is death. So there's no continuous life on this earth. But when we get to glory land, we shall live forever. Amen. But while we're on this earth, death is something that we must face. And even, you know, that our very skin... It dead. I say I have dead skin and it drop off. Talk to me, no somebody. Death is a part of life. You have the trees, they blossom and then they die. So the trees don't live forever. Mm? Right? Mm? Not even the houses we have then go forever because by you look two toes. That's right. So, <laughs> so it says no. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 5. It says what? For the living know that they shall do what? Where's my water? Mm -hmm. But the dead knows. Come on, I want you to read that again. Come on, after two. One, two. For the living know that they shall do what? So the dead does what? No, no not a thing. And I was just having a discussion there with Ross earlier on that. You know, when you are dead, when you're dead, you don't worry how they're going to bury you, you know. <laughs> you don't need to worry how you, because you don't know nothing. Mm? So that's why the little money that we have, we make little use of it, eh? <laughs> right? So for the wages of sin is what? Death. And now Ecclesiastes make it clear to us that what? That what? For the living know that they shall die, but the dead knows absolutely nothing. So if you owe somebody and they are dead, you don't have to worry yourself. You don't have to pay them. And they're not going to haunt you. Because <laughs> they know what? Nothing. Hmm? Right? And that is why we mustn't worry about the dead. You know, some people worry about the dead. We don't worry about the dead. We worry about the life that we have and how we can make it better each day through the grace and power of Jesus Christ. Hmm? Right? And so we try to settle our account before. So Genesis, let's go. So where did all of this craziness start? So we have established that death is pronounced upon us. We have established that the dead... Knows nothing. So where did it start? We're going back in Genesis 3 and verse 1. It says for what? Now the serpent was what? The serpent was what? More cunning. Right? I was talking to, I was talking to a pastor. He's dead now. So I don't have to worry myself. I was talking to a pastor. And he said, he said, Pastor, I remember you see him more ginal than me. I said, oh, pastor, never know you was a ginal. But okay, you meet your match. The serpent is more what? Cunning. Mm? Cunning. We would say ginal. Appears to be attractive. You ever see some of these snakes? We have one called the Jamaican bow. I don't know if you know. Anybody know the Jamaican bow? It's bu It's it? Boa. Mm, Jamaican boa. Okay, praise God. It's a good thing that you know. <laughs> yes, it's, very, it's, it's a pretty serpent. Very pretty. And you would, if you don't think twice, you would want to touch, you know? And they say, don't do you any harm, but I don't think I want to be the one to test it out. 
right? But this was a serpent. The serpent was what? More cunning. More cunning. Was so attractive. Was so slick. Than what? Any beast of the what? The field which the Lord God had made. So, the scripture says, And he said to the woman. Who said to the woman? The serpent. This is a lesson for us married men. Don't make no serpent talk to your wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, how we got there? Anyhow, let's move on. <laughs> Has God indeed said what? You shall not eat of every tree of the what? Garden. And this is how sometimes the enemy comes to us. Starts good. And sound good. And we have to be careful. That's why in the last days, it says that we have to guard. We have to guard. We have to guard. Because guess what happened? Sometimes it comes so nice to you. And then you are slowly being led away. Slowly being led away. So hasn't God said to you, you shouldn't eat. Right? But here now, here now, here now. What we see. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat the fruit of the tree of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in what? The midst of the garden. So the, the woman starts now to hold a reasoning with the serpent. And one thing I learned, you see when some people have a point, don't try to start reasoning with them. Don't start to reason with them because they're going to throw you into places. Right? It's one thing the man, the one thing the serpent asks, you know. So God never tell you that. Here what she say. Well, no, no, no. He never really says so still, you know. But he said that what? In the midst of the garden, which God has said. And God has said what he says. That you shall not you shall not eat it, nor shall you do what? Touch it, lest you do what? Die. So the issue with death began right there. Right there, so the issue began, you know. Right? Lest you die. So let's continue now. And it says what? You will not surely die. Hmm? So the serpent come and say, no, no, go so man. A true you have no experience. Hmm? You don't know anything. You shall not what? Surely die. Hmm? Right? So the question is, was the serpent telling a lie? Hmm? Was the serpent telling a lie? Yes, he was telling a lie. But guess what happened now? The serpent knew that if she ate it, she wouldn't die instant. So he says, see, they see, they see what I'm telling you. You get me? And sometimes we have to be careful, brothers and sisters, of the signs that we want to see. There are many of us who say we want to see this sign and that sign. We have to be very careful. Because not every sign points to what you want. Right? And so this is it. So it says that, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be what? Open and many of us in God's church in the Adventist church, we want open eyes, we want more new light. That's right, elder. We want something different, we want something more. But God has given to His church a, a, a redundant message that is good enough for Paul and Silas, so it must be good enough for me, right? And every <laughs> we have this little saying that they say, All stars. Rise and they do what? Fall. Right? So we mustn't seek to be stars because we want what? Open eyes. And when you will be like God, knowing what? Knowing what? Good and evil. Hmm? Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. So, why many people get a part of this occult world? Because they want to know what? More. Hmm? They want their eyes to be open and they want to be have a connection that is considered to be what? Supernatural. Hmm? Same thing. Same thing here taking place. Here it says what? Spiritism says that what? The dead knows what more than the living. So how the dead know more than the living? Then why we have so much murder and he can't solve? 
Hmm? The dead not just to reveal it to us, man. What? What a thing if you go reveal, say, I'm me. I don't know me. <laughs> huh? Knows more than the living. And the serpent said unto the woman, you shall not what? Surely die. Hmm? And this one says what? In this, as in what? Many other Bible passages, the devil told the truth. This is people, spirit, spirit is people, you know. And the Lord is in error. We know say nothing can go so. Hmm? Cannot go like that. This is what this person is saying. Listen to this one. No. Both sides of dead, of death, do what? Do what? Unbroken what? And all the facts point to the what? The continuous what? Existence of our loved one. No, brothers and sisters, we have some evil loved ones. You want them to live forever when they're dead? Some of them I don't want. <laughs> no, no, hold on. We're not recorded. Listen, I didn't. Listen, we recorded, Elder. Elder, listen, I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. You know? I didn't. <laughs> Yes, I, <laughs> right? And no, but it's true, brethren. We have, you know, and this speaks about a what? A continuous, continuous living, continuous living. Listen to this next person says what? We shall be what? United with them. Hmm? So the question is, so after a person has done so much bad on the earth, and we are united with them. What it's left for them to do. Now continue doing bad. So it don't make sense. We, 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 we come to church. Shut up the church then. Hmm? It don't make sense we serve God then. If this is so real. Talk to me brethren. Hmm? Continuous, continuous, continuous. And those who dwell in the what? The spirit world. But... The Bible says in Genesis 2 and verse 7, it says what? And the Lord God did what? For man of the what? The dust of the ground. So we have to go back to the Genesis. How man came about. Man did not come about by evolution. Hmm? So there was no evolution that brought man. But man was formed from the what? From the dust of the ground and that is why i will always say to people that we have to be careful when we believe to ourselves that we are high and mighty because we are all dust and at the end of the day we were created from dust and we will go back to dust so that is why we have to love each other hello mm, appreciate each other and i want you know i was i was just here um, talking to my brethren back home and they were just sharing some stuff with me and I said to them that, listen, you have a problem with the next person and you know what? You need to start praying and say, Lord, help me to see the person in a different light. Because hmm? sometimes we are praying that the Lord change the person and now the person really need change enough time, you know? And we need change. We need to change. Right? And time is so short, brothers and sisters, for us to be having up grievances because we are all what? Dust. We are all dust. So the Lord God formed man out of the what? The dust of the ground. And God did what? Breathe into his nostrils. That is why we are so special. And I want us to understand, brothers and sisters, that because we have the breath of God, we can't behave any any way. Because it is not ours, it belongs to God. Yes, you have a question? No, I thought you. <laughs> I thought you. All right. If you want to stop and ask questions, no problem. Right? Um, if I can't answer, you have Elder Lorraine and you have Elder Larry. And we have other elders here, so. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, 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 so the Lord did what? He did what? He breathed into his nostril. So, so man was not formed solely on dust, but also what? Also what? Also what? The breath of God. And the breath of life and man became a what? A living soul. So somebody asks me the question, if you have a dead soul. Oh, you have a dead soul. The equation for a soul 
is that you must have what? Body and breath, and you become a living soul, right? So, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 7, it says what? Then the dust will do what? Return to the earth as it was. And the spirit will do what? The spirit will do what? Return to God who gave it. Now watch this now, brothers and sisters. Many of us, he say, yes, she there, she there, she there. You're so only. No, this spirit is speaking about the natural breath. Hello, hello. I hope you never miss me, you know, brethren. This spirit in this scripture here is speaking about the same breath. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. See there? And God did what? And God did what? Breathe, Breathe into his natural the breath of life. Mm, this is the same spirit that is talking about here. The same spirit here is talking about the breath that God breathes. And not the, not, the, not the spirit of the person. So when some person say that my mother is in heaven looking down on me. Mm, nothing like that. Because the scripture established clearly that the living know that they shall do what die. But they dead know nothing. So the spirit here, brothers and sisters, is speaking about what? The breath of? Okay, so let's go, let's go. So the spirit here is talking about the what? Breath of God. All right, let's go, let's go. So let's go. We're going to do some work here. So body minus the spirit is a what? Dead soul, right? Body plus the spirit equals a what? A living soul. And as I said to you, I should change this, you know, because there's not such thing as a dead soul. But dead. It should be just dead. Right? And so, yes. So Job, now, let's, let's look at this. Job 27 and verse 3 says what? As long as my breath is in me. What breath is he talking about? Hmm? The breath of God is in me. And the breath of God is in my nostril. So if you don't have the breath of God, you are not living. You are dead. You are dead. So Psalm, Psalms 1, 104 verse 29 says what? Take away their what? Bread. They will do what? And do what? Return to where? Heaven. Purgatory, some place, where, dust. So when you are dead, you go right back to what? Dust, 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 dust. James, I hope some. I hope we are writing these texts, um, so we can have them when we have the discussion. Because as we said, this spiritism is a what? Is a what? It's an epidemic, right? And it's slowly taking us over. And I want to share with you some of the things that we don't even understand is slowly taking us over. We have some brace, bracelets now. They say it's lucky bracelets and to connect energy. You ever hear about those stuff? Mm -hmm. Yes. You put in some and they say they put you on your finger so you have good energy. And if you want to have good energy today or good this today, you wear this and you wear that. All of that is the endemic. Mm, the epidemic. Right? All of that is the epidemic of this occult world. Right? And so it says, James 2 verse 26 says for what? For as the body is without the what? The spirit is dead. The spirit is what? What is the spirit here? The spirit is the breath of God. So faith without what works is death. So if you don't have God's breath in you, you are dead so all of us in here have the breath of god ezekiel 18 verse 4 says what behold all souls are mine the soul of the father as well as the soul of the son is mine the soul who sin shall surely die so death is pronounced upon every man every man death is pronounced upon every man so the soul that sin will surely surely die Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 5 again says what? Come on, let me hear you, everybody. For the what? They shall die, but they? 
And they have no more what? Reward. You can't get any more reward in the grave. So that is why we preach day and night. There is what? No repentance in the grave. So if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Today is your day. Right? So there is no reward for a dead person. For the memory of them is what? Forgotten. So they don't remember anything because there's nothing for them to remember because they are nothing. Hello? Yeah. Right? So the only person who remembers the dead is you. Remember, say, you, you, you understand me? You remember that mommy passed, daddy passed. But mommy not remember that she passed because she passed. No, you, you, you understand what I'm saying, brethren? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I lose anybody? Sure. Huh? Because uh, I know some teachers here, I don't want them to mark me hard, you know. Right? It's my first time teaching in, in the UK. So <laughs> I don't want, to be, don't want to miss anybody. All right. So the next one. So Psalms 115 verse 17, it says what? The dead do not praise the Lord. Hmm? So that is why we must praise the Lord. No. Because when we are dead, we, do, we can't praise God. So every breath that we have now, we must do what? Praise God. I was sharing with some people. I said to them that I said, every time I go home, I am praising God. All in my sleep, I jump up out of my sleep, I praise God. Sometimes my wife wonders if there's something to me. I said, no, I'm praising God. Eh? Yes. The dead do not praise the Lord. Nor anyone who does what? Go down in silence. Acts. Acts 2 and verse 28 and 34. 34 says what? Men and brethren, let me do what? Speak freely to you of the what? Patriarch David. That he is what? Both what? Dead and buried. So him dead and gone. And his tomb is what? With us today. Hmm? So where he's buried is there. Hmm? It is with us. It's with us today. With us. For David did not do what? Ascend into heaven. So David is not in heaven. Hmm? Remember I said to you early on today. That the 24 elders, they are living beings. But these 24 elders, how they got to heaven? How they got to heaven? They were resurrected with Jesus. So it wasn't a case that then die and then the spirit gone up there. No, it was that they were resurrected with Jesus and they are up there. In the case of Moses, we know that Moses was what? Hmm? Dead and then he was Right? And then when we know about Elijah hmm, and Enoch, what had happened? They were what? Translated. Translated. And then you saw one man say, merciful savior. I want to come for him. And then some boys run the back say, go up, ballad man. Go up, go up, go up like up. Huh? And you know what happened to them. A she beer ate them up. Right? And that's another lesson for us that, you know, we sometimes we take. We, we see the Lord's servant and we take for granted. But we have to be careful. Understand, brothers and sisters, we have to be careful. Second Timothy 4, verse 7 and 8 says what? I have what? Fought a good fight. Hmm? Who, is here? Who is here talking? Who is here talking to Timothy? Hmm? Yes, Paul is saying, I have what? I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. And finally, there is what? There is what? Laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. The very same thing we talk about this morning with the flight and the destination on that day. And not to me only. But to all those who love his what? Love his what? Appearing. Hmm? That is why you can't miss the flight. Hmm? All those who love the appearing. So he will give to every man on that day, on that day. And 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 52. It says what? Behold, I do what? I do what? I tell you a what? A mystery. Hmm? A mystery. We shall not all sleep. 
sleep there is the same as death. So we shall not all die. Eh? But we shall be what? Changed. No, we shall not all. Meaning some will die and some won't. Just like life today. Some persons pass away and some are still living. Right? We, will, we shall not all sleep. But we shall be what? We shall be what? Change in a moment in a what? Twinkling of an eye at the last what? Trumpet. So that is why I was saying to somebody, um, and I, maybe I got myself in trouble, but I'm known to get myself in trouble. Um, but I can't get myself out. Anyhow, I was saying to someone that we don't need to be so concerned about what we don't have here. Hmm? What we don't have here. So you see some persons do various things because they want this and that. We don't need to be concerned about what we, do, what we have here. Because when we get there, what we have here will be nothing because we will be changed. Hmm? We will be what? Transformed. Right? So you see me now being short and wearing glasses. When you see me over there, I'm not going to wear no glasses. Talk to me now, somebody. Eh? Eh? That's right. <laughs> so don't worry about the glasses no <laughs> for we shall be changed huh? so some people so some people come there so tall then they size up to you so you have to look up and there but I don't worry myself because when we get there hello somebody talk to me you go and size up all you can now <laughs> Right? And some talk about, you know, weight and they mention, oh, you know, you're so slim and thin. I said, don't worry yourself. Because the next time you see me, we will all be what? Change in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will do what? Sound. And the dead will do what? Will be what? Will be raised what? Incorruptible. So question to the class. If your grandmother in heaven or your mother in heaven, how them are going to raise? Hmm? Simple logics. Hmm? If your grandmother is in heaven, how them are going to raise? So my question, okay, let's argue to say, let's say that, all right, your grandmother went come back down and then rise. So I'm saying, then what is the purpose then? Hmm? Talk to me now, what is the purpose then? Right? What is the purpose of his coming then? It wouldn't make sense for him coming then. Because you would all be up there already. He would need you to. And then the theory that um, a certain religious group uses. That you know when you're dead you go to heaven. No, that would not make little sense then. If you agree on that line. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm? Right? So the dead will do what? We raise incorruptible. And we shall be what? We shall be changed for this corruptible must put on what? Incorruption. All that is within us is just corruption. There's nothing good and special about us but the gift of God. Hello, somebody. Because of his grace and his mercy, why we are not what? Consumed. Right? Must put on incorruption. So, yes, we have sicknesses here. We have diabetes. We have, we have, tell me some of them. We have what? High blood pressure, heart defect, cancer, stroke, and you name them. We have so much defects, right? Blindness, some people unable to hear, unable to speak, unable to walk. All of this speaks to what? Corruption, corruption. But there is coming a day when there will be no more corruption because there will be what? Incorruption. Hmm? And this mortal, mortal, symbolizing that you will do what? Die. Because it was pronounced that the day you eat, you shall do what? Surely die. So death is pronounced upon us. Right? And from the beginning, Satan has been troubling the whole matter of death. And he continues. He says that what? And this mortal must put on what? Immortality. Meaning that we must live forever and ever but not here but in heaven hmm? so when this corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality then we shall be brought to pass saying that what it is written death is swallowed up in victory so this is good news for us class right 
that death itself will die. And so all the funeral home, if you're watching online, I have a message for you, pack your bags. Hmm? Get a truck and take up your things because you will be out of business. Hello? Hmm? If I were you, brother, uh, brother Larry, I'd tell them straight, I'd tell them straight, sell your assets, start liquidate your assets because you're so out of business. Hello? Jesus is coming back and you soon will be out of business. Death is what? Swallowed up in victory, 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 victory. So no more death, no more death. That is why there's this confusion with this occult world because death itself will have to die. And remember, remember, remember the scripture made it absolutely clear that the enemy knows that he has but a short time. So when you have but a short time, you have to do a whole heap of things you can do in a short time. That is why I never preach till 6 o'clock today because I am not leaving England for now. So we have a short time. <laughs> right? But when you have a what? A short time, you have to hurry up and do. And that is what is causing the problem. First Peter 5 and verse 4, it says what? And when the chief shepherd appears, can somebody say amen? amen. Can somebody say praise the Lord? When the who, when the who, when the who, when the who, when the chief shepherd appear, you will do what? Receive the crown of what? Glory. We can receive. Many of us can buy gold. Hmm? But we'll be wearing gold on our head. Eh? If you look at my wife and you know, see no gold ring, we can't afford gold. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> but we'll be getting a golden crown of glory that does not do what does not do what fade. Many of these uh, rings that we have, we have to bring them to do what to do what to clean it up and polish it up. But this crown that we will receive will not fail. This is good news. Excellent news for us. Excellent news. Uh, John 5, 28 and 29, it says what? Do not marvel at this, for the hour is what? Coming in which what? All who are in the grave will do what? Hear his voice and do will do what? Come forth who have what? Done good. So not, it's not everybody. They go, go the same place. Hmm? It's like when you have a class, if you do, I don't know if you do streaming here, right? But back home they do streaming. All students can go in a, the top stream hmm? based on the different levels that they're at. Understood, right? So here, it would be somewhat speaking to that. It says that those that come forth that have done what? Good. And then now... And the resurrection, and to the resurrection of what? Life. And those who have done what? Evil to the resurrection of what? Condemnation. Final death. Hmm? Final death. So, brothers and sisters, what are some of these things? You see this very horoscope. Hmm? Anybody know about horoscope? And this sign is a part of the occult world. And some people say, which sign you rule under. I don't, I don't play those games. I don't play those games. It's all a part of the occult world. And sometimes you listen to the horoscope, and horoscope says, um, you mustn't go out today. And if you go out and somebody drive and splash, you say, see there? My horoscope won't tell me, say, me not to go out. See there? Every day when we go out, nobody never splash me. And they, one day my horoscope tell me, say, not go out. Hmm? And this is what the enemy used to confuse us. Used to confuse us. You see the television. We have to be careful, brothers and sisters. You see the television? They come so subtle. And that is why, that is why it, is, it, is, it is what? It is what? An epidemic. Because sometimes it is so subtle. You're watching on the television. And you just talk about magic. And you just talk about power. Hmm? And he just talk, and he just slowly, and that's what the devil does. He plays a little bit on your mind, and then you start to be curious. So you start watch things about magic, and you say, "Let me go try it out if it goes so." Hmm? This is what the enemy uses, and that is why it's an epidemic. 
It's an epidemic. It's an epidemic. An epidemic. Daniel, Daniel 12 and verse 2. And it says what? And many of those who do what? Sleep in the dust of the earth shall do what? Wake. Some unto everlasting life. And some unto shame and everlasting contempt. Right? So some will go to everlasting life and some to contempt. So some people say to me, they say to me, you know, um, pastor, um, I don't believe what you're talking, you know, because definitely me know, says my grandmother, a dream to me. Hmm? Because she tell me something and the exact thing play out. Hmm? And so sometimes we get caught up. But remember what I said to your brothers and sisters. That's what the enemy does. He used from time to time or what? Our sight to deceive us. First Corinthians 15, verse 16 to 18. It says what? It says what? Come on. Until when? Christ is what? Yes. And if what? Christ is not risen, your faith is what? Futile. Lock church. Go join a rumbar. Huh? You are still in Still in your sin if you believe that Christ has not risen. And it says what? Then also those who have what? Fallen asleep in Christ have perished. Hmm? Thank God that Jesus did what? Gain victory over death. The grave could not what? The grave could not hold him down. The grave could not hold him down. So, Lazarus now. Our friend Lazarus what? Sleeps but I do what? I go that I may do what? Wake him up. So Lazarus was dead. So death and sleep is synonymous. They go hand in hand. So Lazarus was asleep, but I go that I may do what? Wake him up. Then Jesus said to him, do what? Plainly, Lazarus is? Lazarus is dead. Lazarus is dead. And we know the story. When he went there and he said, Lazarus, do what? Come forth. Psalm 127, verse 2 says what? For so he gives his what? Beloved. Beloved sleep. Luke 23, verse 43 says what? And Jesus said to them, Surely I say to you, today you shall be with me in paradise. So some people, we use the scripture from time to time, and we take it as a certain way. So when Jesus was here, he was talking to who? He was talking to the thief on the cross. For our knowledge today and the word of God, he is not in paradise as we know. But it was an assured word that he will make it to paradise. So whatsoever God says, we believe it. So if you don't have it now, you will have it later. You will have it later. All right. And so... John 20 verse 17 says what? Do not what? Cling to me. For I have not what? Ascended to my father. Jesus here speaking. Jesus here speaking. Listen now, pagan doctrine. This is a trouble. Remember I told you that spiritism is one of the last day deception. Spiritism, right? And if we have some time, if we had some time, but I'm going to have a comeback. We have a talk that the pro false protestantism brings about spiritism and 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 catholicism brings about brings about brings about brings about secularism or same secularism right and 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 the the, the devil the dragon which is satan well yeah he brings about secularism right and so these are the last day deceptions and then false day of worship that's catholicism Rather speaks to false day of worship. And these are the three last day deception. And this is what will distinguish us in the end. So many of us might not catch us on the day of worship. Because we say we are all seven day Adventists. So not catch us. But then you have what? Spiritism. There are many of us who are caught up in spiritism and we don't know. We know we, to us it don't, it's nothing. But some traditions that we have and speak to spiritism, last day, final deception. Right? And then if not, so if it's not spiritism, if it's not, if it's not false worship, then the next one is what? What's the next one? Secularism. 
three last day deception. So, the pagan doctrine. Oh, no, so quiet. Me nervous, you know. Is what? The place hot or what? Okay. Oh, you're listening? Yes. Praise God. So, this what? They what? The pagan doctrine of the what? Immortality of the human soul did what? Creep into the what? Into the what? The back door of the church. So we have some songs there. Somewhere around the throne. Creeping through the back door. Hmm? Back door creeping through the back door. Right? We are not Irish. I heard that the Irish, you have to come in through the back door for them. Because if you're at the front door, you're a weird person. So we're not Irish here. Hmm? Hello, anybody Irish in here? No, I just want to make it clear. Yeah? Yeah? So we know, we know that the back door, anything coming through the back door, quote unquote, it's a term, back door is not legitimate. Hmm? Right? Back door deal, yes. Great example. Hmm? Right? And if we were speaking to the Irish, we would say front door deal for them. Right? The back door of the church in the what? Early centuries. Back to Genesis 3 verse 4. Then the serpent said to the woman, you shall not surely die. This is the deception. Spiritism is what? To what? Mortals. Doing what? No death. Hmm? This is what they are saying. That what? Still lives. Nothing like that. And there is what? Hope in the what? Life beyond for the what? Most sinful. Hmm? Hmm? So that's why they, some churches teach about what? Purgatory. So you're in one state. And if you were a bad person, your family member can pray you to heaven. And do penance and get you into heaven. You ever hear that, brethren? Yes, man. So your family can pray into heaven. And there is one particular church that says that you can take baptism for your dead family. Hmm? So when they baptize you, they baptize you three times. Hmm? One for you and your, the other for so your, your family. Hmm? Right? And so this is what? The teaching. But in Hebrews 9 and verse 27, it says what? And as it is what? Appointed for man to do what? Die once. So it's only one time you can die. Hmm? To die once. But after this is what? The judgment. The judgment. The judgment. That is why I spoke to you about the throne room. And this is where judgment is being executed. This is where your case is being revealed and reviewed over. This is where it takes place. The judgment. After death comes what? Judgment. Judgment. Judgment taking place. Judgment taking place. And it says what? They what? The spirit is? Sp yes, yeah, spiritualistic movement spread like an? Here, there, and everywhere. A wave of what? Interest in what? Spiritism start to do what? Spread. And the what? The number of what? Did what? Mounted above to what? Ten million marks, right? And so if you want... People to come to your place. If you want foreigners to come to your place, say your place haunted. Hmm? And they would love to come. Because spiritism starts to do what? Spread. Revelation 12 and verse 9 says what? Satan who does what? Deceive, deceive, deceive the whole world. And you know sometimes brothers and sisters, it's very sad when we find out that we are deceived. Hmm? Anybody has ever been deceived? Yeah. Hmm. It's very sad when we find out that we are deceived. Ecclesiastes 28 and verse 15, it says what? You were perfect. You, Satan. Hmm? You were perfect in your ways from the day that you were what? Created till what? Iniquity was found in you. So the question some persons, some persons from time to time, who created Satan? Hmm? Who created Satan? I'm creating self. What, what, what made about this creation? Yeah? Yes. So when God made him, he was perfect. But he allowed what? He allowed what? Iniquity. That is what created him into a devil. Iniquity. Hmm? Was found in you. 
And it says what? Isaiah, Isaiah 14, it says what? For you have said in your weir, in your weir, in your weir, in your heart. So he purposed within his heart, in a heart. He was purposed in his heart. And he says that what? He says what? I will do what? I will ascend into heaven. I will do what? Exalt my throne above the what? The stars of God. He said to himself that he would do that. He says what? What? I will also what? Sit on the what? The mount of the congregation of the what? Of the? And I will do what? Heights of the cloud. And I will be like the? Most high. We must never seek to be like the most high. Hello, brother, sister, brothers and sisters. And you see, we need to watch that word. You see this little word here? You see this word here? Is that dangerous? That, that little word there, I. It's not about me, but it's about Christ that lives within me. There's nothing good that I possess, but it's because of Christ and him only. Why I'm able. Right? Him only. All right. Good, good, good. Revelation. Wonderful book. Revelation 12, verse 7 to 9. It says what? And war broke out here. In heaven. So you see, <laughs> you see sometimes some people say, Oh, pastor, I am not going back to that church because it's pure fight. Them fight down there. I said to them, say, well, listen to me now. Listen to me. Why did all broke out of heaven to you now? So you're not plan to go there, so? Well, talk to me now, somebody. Eh? Why did broke out of there, so, to you now? So you're not plan to go up there, so? Huh? The little... <laughs> That's first war. Big war, too. Because with this big war, listen, listen with this big war. Michael and his angels did what? Fought against the dragon. It's a big fight, that. And the dragon and his angels did what? Pandemonium. Anybody from Trinidad here? Bacchanal. Eh? Talk to me now. But they did not what? Prevail. Yeah, there was what? No what? Place for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was what? Cast out. Cast out. That's a bigger war than what go on here, so you know, because the most sometimes is one side against the other side. Everybody's still there here. You understand what I'm saying? That they want they want when get kick out. <laughs> and they, so we, we are saying we want to go. And the little things that we have from time to time, we are you get the point I'm bringing across, right? And it says, But but the serpent. Of old called the who now devil and Satan who deceived the whole world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were what? Cast out with him. Woe to the weir now. To the inhabitants. So he said, eh, he who no keep me out from this. So. I'm going go no hell down here. So. so woe be unto the inhabitants of the earth. And the what? See. Hmm? And that is also speaking to uh, prophetic, right? See, we now speak to many people, right? Earth, earth speaks now to a, a less densely populated place. So, woe be unto the whole inhabitation of the world. So, this side of the earth and the other part. Woe. It says for what? For the devil has come down to you having great what? Wrath and get kicked out. Right? He is now on a rampage. He is now about to create havoc and chaos. Huh? He is now about to create chaos and havoc. Because he knows that he has but a short time. Short time. Second Corinthians 11 verse 14. And what? No wonder. For Satan himself transformed into what? Angel of light. And so that's why sometimes when you see a dead relative come to you, it's not your dead rev relative, it's Satan being transformed. Yes. Right? Satan being transformed. And some people say, oh, them see dopey. You're not dopey, you see. You see Satan. And his angels. Hello? It's a whole heap of them, you know. Right? One third. Took one third, huh? Right? One third is a big amount he took with him. 
And they are here on this earth to do and to perform what? Signs and wonders. That it would even cause even the very elect to be what? Deceive. Right? When we see and we hear about it and dream, right? We must, we must, we must, we must be able to know that it is the devil. Right? Because what some of us do, you know, some of us when we see these things are here, we go, we go, go check a man and tell the man, say, man, go and get rid of the doppy. Hmm? No, you have to stand up. And in the name of Jesus Christ, hello, at the name of Jesus, huh? every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. So I have a little story I want to tell you. One night, I, I, my grandmother passed away. I used to give my grandmother a whole heap of trouble. She used to bawl out my name. So I went to my bed now. And when I was sleeping, I said, you know, look like a sheep. And he said, shut your mouth, you're dead. Don't say nothing to me. <laughs> I said, shut your mouth, you're dead. Right? Because that's what the enemy does. He plant in our mind. So don't give him any time to talk to you. I said, shut your mouth, you're dead. I don't get back no more dream like that. Hmm? You have to be sober, man, brethren. That's what the scripture asks us to be what? Be sober, be vigilant. Because the enemy is like that. He brings about illusion. So now, if I wasn't studying the word, more I go say, hey, hey. see my grandmother, they haunt me here. Nothing like that. It's a devil. The devil, the devil, the devil seeking. It says what? For we do not wrestle against what? Flesh and blood. So, and, and each other we fight. But we fight against what? Principalities. We fight against what? Powers. And we fight against what? Rulers of darkness in what? In what? In this age, mm -hmm. against what? Spiritual hosts of what? Wickedness. In where? Heavenly places. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what we go through is bigger than us. Right? And that is why we have to, pardon me, we have to claim God's promises each day, brothers and sisters. Because it's bigger than us. It's bigger than us. Revelation again, 16 verse 14, it says what? For they are what? Spirits of demons doing what? Performing signs. So the Eastern Caribbean people will tell you, Jumbi, you know Jumbi, right? Mm -hmm. Or O like. And we are Jamaica say rolling calf. Talk to me now. And Doppy. Huh? Right? Right? And so we say, we, we talk these things. It's not none of those things. It's demons performing signs. Demons. And some people say they go psychic because psychic can do you this and read that and tell you this and tell you that. It's demons performing signs. And you know what happened, brothers and sisters? When we go these places, these demons follow us. When we watch these shows, these demons follow us. Right? And anything, <laughs> anything I hear that talk nothing about no spiritism, I have one saying, I said, Jesus is Lord and Savior over my life. Anytime my wife hears that, she start laugh after me. She say, you're too afraid. Me say, no. I'm afraid, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid, I'm afraid. I'm going to make it absolutely clear. Jesus is Lord and Savior over my life. No one, no demons. Hmm? Performing signs which go out to the kings of the earth and to the whole what world to gather them to the battle of the great day of what Armageddon. So all of this, all of this secularism, all of this have one final battle. Hmm? All of these three, one final battle, one final battle. Leave the cost twenty verse six to verse six and twenty seven says what? And the persons who turn to what? The persons who turn to what? And what? Familiar spirits. Talking to dead. Hmm? Reading palm. These persons. To do what? To do what? Himself with them. These persons who get involved and they go and see reader man, mother man, father man. And all of these persons. Hear what the scripture says. I will set my face against thee. If you get involved in this stuff, he's saying I will set my face against thee. Hmm? And cut him off. 
from his people. If you play with the enemy, there's only one direction. And he's dead. One direction, one direction, and he's dead. And a man or woman who is a what? Medium or whom is what? Familiar with spirit shall be surely what? Put to death. They shall be what? And their blood shall be upon their shoulders. First Samuel 28, 11 and 13 says what? Whom shall I do what? Bring out for you. Coming back. This is a story coming back to when you see people. Hmm? When you say you see people. <laughs> right? Who shall I bring unto you? And he said, bring up Saul. So this is Samuel. <laughs> so this is the king. This is the king. This is the king. King Saul who is going now to who? Yes. Going to the witch. Going to the witch. And he's asking to bring up Samuel. Samuel who was a prophet, a man of God. He's saying what? Bring him up. And he says, what did you see? And the woman said to what? Saul, I saw a spirit ascending out of what? Earth. He saw something, but it was the enemy. It was the enemy. All these things, Ouija card, all of these things, last day, deception, all of these signs of the time. Oh, the devil, the prince of what? Demons. This is what coming out of signs of the time. I beseech thee to do what? Hear my prayer and bless thy what? Servant in his what? Labor before he does what? Enable him to defend thee so that this audience may realize thou art what? A prayer answering and a prayer hearing and answering devil. Hmm? What? What? Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. But the scripture asks us to be what? Be sober and be vigilant. Be vigilant. First Thessalonians 4 verse 13, he says what? But I do not want you to be ignorant. Hello, somebody? This is the sum total of the Bible class. We don't want to be ignorant. I do not want you to be ignorant concerning those who have fallen asleep. Lest you sorrow as those who have no hope. Today or this evening, we have hope in Jesus. This is the good news for us. We don't worry about debt. We don't worry about this stuff because there is hope. Hope in who? Hope in Jesus. For the Lord himself will descend. Come on, somebody. The Lord himself will do what? Descend. From heaven with a what? A shout. Hmm? The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout. And with the voice of the archangel. And with the what? Trump of God. And with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will do what? Rise first. And then we who are a what? Alive and remain shall be what? Caught up together with them in the what? Clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Amen. Amen. And thus we shall all be with the Lord. Good news. Good news. Good news. It's time for us, brothers and sisters. time for us not to be led down this path of deception. This is the good news for us. So... There is an epidemic, but the epidemic can be cured with the vaccination of the word of God. Amen. Hello? It can be eradicated if we trust his words. And so, this is the end of Bible class for me. Is there any questions that you have? Um, I will see how best I can facilitate. Yes, it's two six now, so we should. Yes, is there any questions? Yes, go ahead. Yes, let's get him a mic so we can. You know. Yes. <clears throat> uh. 
I thank you very much for the presentation. I think it was very informative and uh, very good and engaging. Um, I've got a question on, or probably if you could uh, explore a little bit more on uh, your previous verse. I think it was first Samuel, first yeah. Samuel, is it chapter 28, I think, mm -hmm. verse, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wanted you to explore a little bit more about that. What was happening there and what does it mean? Because I've seen, talking to some other people as well, mm -hmm. there's a misconception about, you know, you, you could also talk to the dead, but as mm. you're saying, yes. that, that's evil spirits. Okay, okay. Evil spirits, but mm -hmm. the, 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 if you go to, the, to, to that verse, yes, you know, I let's think go. The, the, the All right, let's go. Let's, let's go to the Bible. If we have our Bible, just pull it out. Pull it out. So, uh, I think it's 1st uh, Samuel uh, yes, okay. chapter 28, verse, verse 8. Something. Yes, it speaks about Saul. Yeah. Did we pass it? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's so that's the scripture. Yeah, it's particularly uh, mm -hmm. verse 8 that I had a question on the actual event when mm -hmm. Saul... Uh, uh, told the medium that, you know, yes. uh, call me Saul. Saul. Mm -hmm. And then, you know. I'm, I'm, okay, so let's go. Let's go. Um, just pull it up in, in your Bibles for me, please. And, and someone will read for me. First Samuel 28, verse 8. Verse 8. Yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. by night and he said I pray thee divine unto me by the familiar spirit and he bring me up and bring me him up whom I shall name unto thee mm -hmm. unto what verse no okay so that's the that's the that's essence eight. yes mm -hmm. no I get I get the question so this is this is what so the, 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 the context to the situation was that each time they would go to war, the prophet would speak to them. Now, the, the prophet passed away, right? And so Saul now wanted to know how to proceed. So he thought to himself that the best way to proceed is to bring up back the prophet in his, despite he knew but but there's so much to that text because you see another piece to it you see when we get involved with hedonic practice despite we know what is right we start to do this stuff so what Saul what Saul did was a practice not of his nation but of a hedonist nation where they would go and bring up spirits as it were to speak to no, we have established in the Bible class that these spirits are not people, but these are the spirits of Satan and his angels. So what Saul saw was one of Satan's angels disguising as Samuel. And Saul died as a result of that. Right? And he was cut off. Because of that, because leave the course makes it absolutely clear that if you partake in that, you are cut off. So that was his reward. So what he saw was not Samuel, right? Because Samuel was dead and gone, and we have established that the dead knows nothing. So what he saw was not Samuel. It was, it was, it was the deception of the enemy, and the enemy comes in various forms. As we made mention, as I said, in some countries, they call them zombies, they call them O-like, we call them doppy. I don't know, what you call them here in England? Ghost, yes. Jasper, the friendly ghost. Yes. Yeah, we, we, you, you get me, you get me, right? But these are, these are, these are, these are the spirit of the enemy. And remember, the enemy receive 
as, as was made clear in the scripture, that he was made perfect like one of the angels. So he's able to, he's able to transform himself. The only thing he can do is breathe breath. Right? So he's able to transform himself. Yes, I'm coming. I'm seeing the hands. I'm coming to you. He's able to transform himself. And he transforms himself into these various uh, things. And that is why he seeks to bring about deception. Because, you know, and I would say to you this. I don't know if how you'll take it. I mean, I'm talking to the church. But it's not everything that we see we must believe. Because sometimes it might look like it goes so, but it now goes so. It is far from that. And we have seen it time and time again. So that's what the enemy does. Understand my brother? Yes. Yes, give the, the mic. Yes, let's give him back the mic. Oh, I didn't get your name, my brother. Yeah, my name is Togar. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I totally agree with what you're saying. But where I particularly have a question is, mm -hmm. you know, when, when the medium was or oh, so to speak, the, the, to the spirit. Mm -hmm. it, it, because if you look back mm -hmm. on, you know, because uh, this is quite uh, um, uh, a very tricky de deception, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes, as yes. it may appear. Because be, pr uh, prior to um, Summer's death, mm -hmm. he was, you know, obviously uh, telling um, uh, the, so the truth. Yes, and he never and, liked and, that. And, and he never liked that, mm -hmm. and he go against that. And it so also appears if, like, when they were talking to this spirit, yes. it was consistent with that. But yes. then what he said was yes. particularly against what you yeah, yeah, wanted yeah, yeah. to hear. Yes. And it appears as if they were actually having this conversation, <laughs> which was... I get you, I get you. You know, and, and, mm. and that's the part that yes. is really... Like, okay, I get you. So, and, and that's what... That's, that, back to the point, back to the point, my brother. When the enemy said to the serpent, the, the serpent said to the woman, you shall not surely die. It appeared as though that he was saying the right thing. And so sometimes this is what the enemy does, which leads to our deception. That's why we have to be, be careful of the voice that we discern, because the enemy will sometimes sound like the right thing. In that case, the spirit came up and really said what, you know, but it was still Satan who was doing it. You understand? Because he has years of experience. So he knows what and he is able to speak and, and so on. So I hope I did some clarity. All right, good, good. Yes, my sister, then elder, then we have the hands. Now we're talking, yes. 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 Yes, go ahead. Yeah, that's what we've always thought. Mm -hmm. We've always been taught. But the Bible does not lie. Does the Bible lie? Mm -mm. If you look in verse 16 and within this whole narrative, yes. it says, Then Samuel said, mm. So why do you ask me, seeing mm -hmm. the Lord has departed from you mm. and has become your enemy? Mm -hmm. The Lord has done for himself mm -hmm. as he spoke by me. Mm -hmm. For the Lord has torn the kingdom out of your hand yes. and given it to your neighbor David. Yes. Because you did not obey. So all the time he's telling the truth. and the, mm. uh, Yeah, the enemy does that. I know, but there the is The enemy no, does that. But why does the Bible keep saying Samuel? No, no. Why doesn't the Bible say the spirit? Or why doesn't the Bible say the spirit? Why does the Bible no, that's, that, call it Samuel? Sis, that is just simple um, narration. Yes, it's a person who is writing is just narration. That's a simple narration. It's not, it's not, there's no way because it established early on that he went to the witch who brought up this spirit. You understand? So it's a simple but narration it, that it, the person who is writing, the author who is writing there is just narrating what the spirit said. So it's not... Then it's, it should actually say, the spirit mm. is saying, it should mm. not call it Samuel. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, my sister, if I were to write it, I would put the spirit, but I didn't write it. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. But I understand, I understand. And, and this is, listen, brethren, that is why it is an epidemic, because these slight little things, 
can leave us confused and we start to believe. Right? And that's what the enemy does. The enemy does the first point. He says, you shall not what? Surely die. Right? In one sense, did they die literally that day? No, they didn't die. Right? But they died spiritually. Yeah. Huh? The hair started to drop off. They realized that they were naked. So half of the truth was told. Yeah. The full story wasn't told. Yes, I'm going to Ella. Yes, Ella. Yes, and then... Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course, he calls the Lord. Of course, yes, he calls the Lord, right? And that's why sometimes you are easily deceived because many persons come in church and use Lord, and it's not Lord they're dealing with is Satan. Yes. Matthew 4, 4. Man shall not no, live by bread alone. No, no. Matthew 4, verse um, 6. He says, mm. um, show yourself down. For it is written. Yes, it is he written. He shall give his ch angels charge over you. Mm -hmm. so That's right. Say, I mean, the, he, he knows what is in here too. Mm -hmm. We need to know this and be fortified. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know that it is the devil that's speaking. It actually tells you that he is. Yes. That it is the devil that's speaking. Yes. It's context, yes. Because it started, as I said. It was established at the beginning mm -hmm. that he went to the witch. To the witch. It was established at the beginning that he's now speaking to the devil. He's That's right, because up. he went to a witch. He's going to bring up Samuel. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Seth is asleep, just like when Jesus called people from, to awake from the dead. Yes. Isn't it possible that they... You know that they signs that they can wake the dead and call the dead. Why did no. why did God forbid it then? Mm. Yes, because as we said, it goes right. It is it goes back right to the point that the deception started right there. That's the sums total of it. You know, it's a trick. It's a trick. It's a deception. Right? We can't the dead for the living know that they shall die, but the dead knows nothing. My sister, you had the mic. Yes, you had the mic. Yes. So, hi, I've got two questions. Yes. Um, the first one was I was having a, a conversation. With my, no, my friend called me mm -hmm. and she was in this Facebook group and they were having a conversation about the dead. Yes. And they were saying that we all go to heaven, which we know we don't mm -hmm. when we die. But then they were saying um, the 70. Um, saints mm -hmm. that were in I think he was speaking about it this morning in Revelation yes and she was asking me like I know I don't know yeah. um, where this the spirits of the saints came from mm -hmm. because if we all die and we know nothing and we were sleeping until mm -hmm. Christ comes then where who are those 70 saints that um, they were mm -hmm. saying huh? 24 Sorry. elders yeah. yeah that they mm -hmm. were saying um, wait a little while mm -hmm. um, just wait a little bit longer Mm -hmm. who, yes. Where, oh, where, where oh, you're see? talking about the fifth seal with the souls yeah. crying underneath the altar. Yeah. Where, okay, yes, yeah, yes, yes. That's a good one. Because yes. if, all, if we will die, yes. so who are those souls? Yes, yes, yes. That's why a good are one. Why are they not sleeping in the ground? And why That's are right. They in heaven? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So obviously, she wants to respond to the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have the answer to this. Okay, so very, yeah. very good, very good. And I'm glad that you made mention of that because I didn't mention that in the sermon. This was speaking to a metaphor, explaining the situation that happened. And it is like there is a question. What happens to these individuals who have done this? Right? And then now John hears the voice saying that they should rest a little while. Mm? That's a comfort from the Lord. Saying in the throne room, rest a little while. So it's a metaphor explaining what had happened and what will happen to them. So they're not actually there. No, they are. No, they are not. They are not there. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. They are not there. But the twenty-four elders that I spoke about, they were resurrected with Jesus okay. because when Jesus was resurrected, tombs were open. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I understand that. And yes. The second question was, you know. Like, no one has ever been able to answer this question, so I don't know if you can. But you yes. know, with Lucifer... Yes. 
he was made perfect. Yes. In liquid, where because I know if I want to do something bad or if I'm feeling some certain type of way or I'm gonna sin, I know that influence comes from the devil and the demons and sin. Mm -hmm. But where did it come from for him? Because if he was so perfect, yes. Where does this little thing stir up inside of him for him to then? want to rebel against God because yeah. there was nothing that was bad yes. until Lucifer felt what he felt, right? Yes. So where did that come from? So as we mentioned, iniquity. Yeah, but and where it, did it... What, what's iniquity? Cause yeah? Yes. The, he, he chose that. He chose no. And so the I... He was fine. He was fine. And, and he created... And he a little thing and mm. then... He decided to just go Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh. Because, of, because of the choice that he made. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is with free will because God does not force anyone. He says that we should make choices, right? And so Lucifer chose to be Lucifer. So you're saying that the other angels, sorry, must have felt something, but they chose not to do it. But then the angels that chose to follow Lucifer mm. chose that feeling as well. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. Because we have feelings, you know. I know. Right? And Why what determines our action is, okay, is, so, okay. is what we choose to do. Okay, I didn't know the angels had it, like... I know yeah, they, they had choice. That's why, yeah, that's why one third, that is why one third went with, because they chose that, yes. So it was a choice that was given. Yes. All right, next person. Yes, man, you guys don't want to go home. Look at that. Yes, let's go. All right, man, you say, Yes. Mm -hmm. Upon the question... No, hold on. Could you go again? I am not hearing you clearly. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, mine is a contribution upon the question that was popping up here. All right, so you, you all know, can, or we all can testify that when Jesus came, he performed many miracles. Miracles, yes. Yeah, he rose the dead. Yes. But don't you, don't you think that if this dead were able to say, when I died, I, I was at this place... I went to this place. Like, it would be simple for us. But none of them yeah. said, when I was dead or during my time of death, Excellent. I was here. I was Excellent. here. When you are dying, that's yes. it. That's right. You don't go anywhere. You Excellent. Can never... At first, I was really afraid yeah. of when somebody's die or mm. back in Africa. Mm. You see, when a person die, you have a funeral. Mm. Then they will lay this person in state. I will run away. Yes. I... I, 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 I I know that maybe in the evening or in the night, this person yeah. will just come in. Mm -hmm. But after, <laughs> yeah. after San Rese, I said that, no, none of these people that Jesus, mm. I resurrected, said, I was here, I was here. Yeah. They, didn't, they don't even remember anything. That's right. Okay, so yeah. if you are dead, that's it. That's right, you are dead. Excellent, excellent. My sis, my sis, um, yes, yes. Oh. Matthew 27, verse 53, all right? That speaks to the saints. The 24 elders. All right? So you can put that down with your discussion later on. Yes. Who is next? 53. Yeah. And just before Shiva speaks, mm -hmm. this, today's is being recorded. Mm -hmm. And it will be uploaded. Okay. So I'll be able to share the link in the groups. So or if you're not in the groups, mm -hmm. you'll be able to get the link. So yes. you can um, watch it again. Uh, Brother Larry, is it monetized? So I can get something of it? Okay. All right. Next question. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I wanted to say um, thank you yes, yes. Um, for this study. Yes. Um, I have a personal experience with this, actually. Mm -hmm. um, when I was 16, my uncle died. Mm -hmm. And um, I was staying at my mum's house, where he used to live with us, mm -hmm. um, with a friend of mine. And I'd only met my uncle once. Mm -hmm. um, and he said to me that um, he'd saw my uncle mm -hmm. walking around in the house and he said to him, look after her. Mm -hmm. um, he'd only met him once, never saw him face to face, but he saw him walking up and down the stairs, going in and out <laughs> rooms. I wasn't brought up Adventist mm -hmm. or Christian or anything like that. But my sister used to take us to church with her when she started going when she was 12. Mm -hmm. And so I knew that that could not be my uncle that he saw. That's right. He saw him more than once. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew that, that that couldn't be in the case. Mm -hmm. I thank God that he was watching over me and looking after me mm -hmm. and knowing that even though I didn't know enough yes. and I didn't know this at this time, I knew that that was wrong. It was not, yeah. So every time 
you know, I left home. Every time I used to go back to my mum's house, I used to pray. I'd anoint the doors, <laughs> and the windows, and everything. Yes. Because I knew that yes. that was not mm. the case. That yes, that yes, yes, yes. I found out later that my mum actually start, was going to a spiritualist church. Mm. And I, um, I went once with her because I wanted to know what it was like. Mm -hmm. And they used to have church services like how we do. And then they would have the medium afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it made sense to me why That's that right. happened at that time. That's right. Powerful. I only went the once because I went with, with someone who wanted to go. Mm -hmm. But they never, they will have people there doing the mediums and saying, you know, going to each people, I've got a message for you, I've got a message for mm -hmm. you. But they never came to me because I never believed it. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Still now, I pray about it. When I go to yes. the house, I pray about those things. I don't know. I've never asked if she still goes. But I know, because I know that is in her experience, yeah. mm -hmm. I know how it would affect me and my family mm -hmm. when we're around her. Mm -hmm. But these have been good for me to go over it. Yes. So I know what to say to her. Oh, yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Wonderful. And you see, brothers and sisters, as we say, that is why in the last days, last days remember i went through the seal and these last days we have to be sober yeah. we can't be drunk because the slightest of drunkness we will be deceived and we'll be deceived with this stuff we are drunk with the wine when i come back i doing revelation 7 and the two women and the woman with what is in her cup and want to show you what is in her cup this last day deception. Now, uh, my sister, what I would say to you, well, you found out now, but if it was back then, I would tell you, catch your uncle, tie him up, and ask him how comes in a dead. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, Pastor. Yes. Just to um, go back to what Sherry said, you know, mm. I, I work in a hospital, and I'm, mm. we had to re resuscitate a guy once, yes. and he was dead, dead. Mm -hmm. And he came back, and, I, and he said to me, do you know what he said? There's nothing out there. Mm -hmm. he, said, he said, when you're dead, you're dead. He said, it was black, darkness. Mm -hmm. And then he came back. So there's nothing there at all. Yes. But the, the, the question I have, uh, and it's just for how to explain to others, really. Mm -hmm. the, there's a the story in the Bible about Lazarus and the rich man. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. That's a parable also. A yeah. parable. So it's, it's how, do we, how do we answer that question when people ask? Mm -hmm. they, they throw that in often, mm -hmm. talking about those people, because, you know, Lazarus was able to communicate, Rich was able to communicate with Lazarus, yes. Rich was, in, was, was yes. dead, yes. You know, and mm. Lazarus, it was in the bosom of Christ. Christ so yes. it's, it's be good to have a, a, an explanation for mm -hmm. that that we can give to other people because mm -hmm. it, it's often thrown into the, well, actually, there's people in heaven and there's people in, in yeah, hell, yeah, yeah, and yeah, they yeah. can talk to yes. each other. I've heard, I've heard that statement, I've heard that statement. But this was just a parable that was speaking to how we should treat each other. It was really speaking to how we should treat each other, you know. Meaning the rich man mustn't look down on the poor man and vice versa. It was, that was what the parable was explaining. And now when, if we are to, Brother Larry, why we look like you're going to book me out the whole year, man? Because I have to come back again and tell you about parables. And explain that Jesus used everyday language which is able for us to understand, to bring across the message. So this was just a parable that was here just explaining how we are to live. Meaning a rich man and a poor man. But he wasn't speaking. But I've heard the discussion on it from time to time. But my simple, even if we don't go through all of this. My simple reasoning for all of this. If persons are in heaven when they die. Why Jesus coming back? All we have to do is just die. So why are we preaching about the second coming of Christ? If when I die I go to heaven. Huh? Simple logics. That not sound reasonable? Yeah. Why is it then that you need to go to church and to do this if all of us go and go heaven and we can't look down upon? Right? And then if that is the case, why nobody wants to die? Huh? Why everybody afraid of death if we all go to heaven as we die? Question. Huh? Simple, simple questions. Yes. Pathfinders are over now. Yes. Yeah, um, this is just to add to what you were saying in that mm. when the Bible says when you're studying the Bible, you have to study it in context. Yes, that's right. So when you understand the context of it, yes, what God says, then it helps to, un you know, mm -hmm. the full understanding of parables and um, mm -hmm. 
anything that's that's metaphorical yeah. will be mm. clearer because mm. Isaiah says here a little line upon line, line precept upon precept, 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 here a little, precept, there a little, there a little. little. Yes, yeah. okay. yes, and so and so, brethren, I will not stay here and tell you that I am able to explain everything in the Word of God. No, but what I have, I believe by faith. Hello. And what I don't understand, as I said to you this morning, what I don't understand here, when I get over there, yeah, yeah. hello, yeah. we'll all understand it by and by. Yes, my sister. Okay. All right. Um, my uh, brethren, I am going far, so I hope this is the last one. Unless you want to carry me home, it's not no, a problem. It's not, it's not a question. Okay. It's just um, a comment to yeah. say some of these things, we introduce them in our lives by ourselves. That's right. Because um, if I look who back home, I'm from Zimbabwe, mm. we have other traditions where if somebody dies, mm. um, they brew beer. Mm -hmm. And they say they want to bring the person back That's to, right. to the family. Mm. So they go to the crow and they mm. choose one of their animals, mm -hmm. let's say it's a cow, mm -hmm. and then they say that this person is now this cow. So mm -hmm. whatever they want to do, if they're going to university, they have to go to that cow, kneel down, mm -hmm. and they clap to that cow, I'm now going to university to do this, 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 this. If you're coming over to England, mm -hmm. well, that would be a big thing. Or I'm going to ask him for him to give me Jenny messes to come. Oh. So you'll find out that in their lives, obviously, they will continue to have these dreams whereby they're I, talking to the dead or um, things that happened before are happening to their small children yes. who had nothing to do mm -hmm. during that time. And they start to believe and say, oh, she's talking like mom. Mm -hmm. This is what mom used to do. That's and right. they start to believe that. So I um, just want to say that once you believe it and once you introduce it in your life, That's sometimes right. it can be difficult to take it out of That's right. Excellent. Excellent. So brothers and sisters, back to the sum total, we have to learn how to avoid these things. We must be sober. We must be vigilant upon the word of God. And that's the only way what, that we are able to stand. Right? Upon the word of God, we have to stand. So, brothers and sisters, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. God bless you. Pastor, I want to thank you. You know, the first time I met Pastor was the last Sabbath evening of 2023. My cousin sent me to Pastor to pick, pick up some food. And I can't even remember we exchanged a word more than I said thank you. Pastor Brivet, who spoke here in January, introduced me to pastor and we have been speaking Wednesday night for those who let me see how many persons were on our Wednesday night meeting this week so pastor did this Wednesday when last Wednesday and the Wednesday before and when I finish after his presentation and we had two lovely presentations, Pastor. I remember the first week. We need to pray harder. Last week. That was last week? Yes. We need to pray harder. Right? So that one stuck with me. We need to pray harder. And at the end, I said to, pa I said to everybody that we have seen Pastor virtually. One day, you will be in our church. I had no idea that my phone call to pastor on Thursday would be to come here. And I'm saying to you, pastor, we have a date for you. And you will get that date. No, it's unfortunate that you live across the river. Because I know everybody here wouldn't mind having you every Sabbath afternoon to do something like this, right? Today was truly a blessing. We have been blessed by your ministry. And it's good when you can hear it, that your ministry was good. I teach, 
and this, this morning, I mean, the book Revelation, I've been studying Revelation, and I can't say I've heard it all. But how Revelation between the, the seals were simplified. Those who heard the message can go and teach it. This evening, again, I've been to several funerals where we have heard all these state of the dead. And I must say, you know, there are some lovely songs out there, you know. Tell Jesus to send for me. <laughs> and if I get there <laughs> before I do, <laughs> you know, there are some lovely songs. And, you know, where is mom? She's somewhere around the throne. But today we have been blessed with your ministry. Now, Pastor, when I ask you for the evening program, what are you going to speak about? And you sent me the topic, death pandemic. <laughs> I looked and I said, death pandemic. Then I tried, to, then I remember you saying to me, is that too heavy? <laughs> Reggie I came close to saying, you can probably choose another topic. But I said, listen, Pastor, do your thing. <laughs> do your thing. And I'm happy you did your thing. We have been blessed, brethren. And our afternoon program is picking up. Yeah? It is picking up. Yeah? We are having a wonderful experience after lunch. We just need to continue. Right, we just need to continue. The day has been well spent. I don't want to weary out the ladies because there have been meetings. They are meeting and they are planning. And us men, I'm asking everyone, even those who are not in church today, tell a friend to come next week. We want to support. And for those of us who are in the men's ministry calling, even though you and I live in, live in homes, we're members of the me women's ministry team. And sometimes they always have this secret planning. Next week we will see what they have been planning. But as men, we have something in store for next week as well. At this time, I'm going to ask everybody to stand, and I'm going to ask Sister Ross if you could do the closing prayer for us, please. Let's bow our heads, people. Loving Father, we are but dust. But you know what? We are also children of God. And it's because of that hope that you have given us that we can come before you and ask for your continued presence to stay with us as you have done throughout this day. And that that blessing that you have promised us, we claim it and it will take us through the rest of the week. Help us to share what we have learned today. Bless Pastor Christopher and Monique as they continue their ministry with you. Thank you for the, the allowing them to open our eyes to see you better. And so, dear Lord, take us through the rest, the remainder of this evening. Take us each one home safely, especially Pastor and Unique as they have so far to go. And then for the remainder of the week, keep us hovered under the presence of your Holy Spirit, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brethren, you can fellowship, but see you next week and our Wednesday night meetings. I'm encouraging everyone. It's on Zoom. You can come and log in, mute your microphones, and just listen.